In this video, we're going to talk about what it takes to actually implement the multi-taper spectrogram, and you'll find that it's actually quite straightforward and simple. Just a reminder that everything you need can be found at sleepeeg.org slash multi-taper. This includes the code that we'll talk about today, as well as the other step-by-step -step modules that teach you about why the multi-taper works and how we can use it to look at sleep data in a more efficient manner. The code we're going to look at today is called multi-taper spectrogram, and it's been implemented in MATLAB. We've designed it in such a way that it's easy to read and it's very simple to see the step-by-step -step process of how the multi-taper spectrogram is created. So before we start, let's recap exactly how we make a multi-taper spectrogram. We first start with a noisy segment of time series data. We then create a set of DPSS tapers, which are shapes designed based on specifications related to the spectral properties that we wish to observe within the data. By multiplying each of these tapers in turn to the noisy data, we get a series of taper data window segments, and for each of those we can compute a single taper spectra. By averaging all of those spectra together, we reduce the variance inherent in the estimates and create a multi-taper spectrum. Now let's go back to the code. The first section of this code simply deals with taking in the user's inputs, and we can basically skip right over that. This section over here is really the crux of everything. This small section here breaks everything down into the four steps that you need to compute the multi-taper spectrogram, and it's really quite straightforward. As we said, step one is to compute the DPSS tapers based off of the desired spectral properties. Step two is to multiply the data segment by the DPSS tapers. Step three is to compute the spectrum for each segment. And step four is to take the mean of those spectra. So the first thing we do is to compute the DPSS tapers. This uses the MATLAB function DPSS, and all that really does is takes the size of your data window, your time half bandwidth product, and the number of tapers you want. This term at the end, the square root of the sampling frequency, is a normalization factor. Now we go through all of our data windows which we've created, and we compute the multi-taper spectrum for each of those. One of the interesting things here is we can do this in parallel in MATLAB because computing a spectrogram is one of these embarrassingly parallel problems such that, that the spectra can be computed independent of each other. This allows us for a really fast and efficient computation, especially when looking at things like sleep data which are over many hours. So after grabbing the data segment that we have here, we do something interesting. So one of the things that's uh, issue with EEG data is that you get what's called DC drift. And over the course of many minutes, what you can see is that there's a slow drift in the EEG baseline data. This is due to changes in impedance as a result of changes in galvanic skin response and other features of the recording system. So one way we can do this is to do a linear detrend to remove this because what would happen if we didn't is it would produce a very large low frequency signal. You can also do a specific bandpass on that uh, if you so desire. This is just a very simple way of removing that data in a fixed segment. So once we've detrended the segment, all we simply do is do a multiplication of our data that's repeated here by the DPSS tapers we've created. We then perform the third step, which is to compute the fast Fourier transform of each of those tapered segments. Then we do the final step four, which is to compute the mean of those tapered spectra. You'll note that in this computation, we multiply the data by its complex conjugate. In this case, we're looking for the magnitude of the spectra, and we're not looking at the complex values in this particular analysis. So we add it to the spectrogram, and that's it. If you can understand these small set of lines here, you've basically understood the multi-taper spectrogram.